Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to create an organic bone transformation on our professional 3D rigging character. Uh, one thing we're going to add, quickly add, if we go into object mode, select the character tab, I'll, I'll just delete that quickly, vertices. We're going to hover over this, press L, Shift D, Z, lift this up to about here, yeah, I'm just going to press S to get it in to make it look more natural. You can decide how you want to do it. I just want, it just helps to visually see the, the organic movement a little bit better by doing this. All right, now that we've done that, uh, and obviously we haven't connected this properly to the vertex groups, which we'll have to do at the end so you, so you can see the final result. But let's quickly create the control bones. So currently, if we go to our, our bones, let's select this. We've got root bone and TRT bone. I'm not looking at the deformation bone in this um, tutorial today. Numpad three or right orthographic view. Press tab to go into edit mode on the bones. Select your TRT hip bone head over there and press E. Y to lock to the Y axis and uh, I'm pressing two. Then I'm selecting this, I'm renaming this. I'm gonna call this the control torso bone. This is the control torso bone. And we want to parent the control torso bone to the root bone. Control P, keep offset. Once we've done that, numpad one for front orthographic view, select the TRT hip bone, press Shift D to duplicate, right click to lock it in place, Alt F to flip it. And then quickly name this to the control hip Bone. and we want to parent this shift click on that control P keep offset parent it to the torso bone which is important torso to hip and then we want to turn on our wireframe mode we want to select this head over here on pad 3 for right orthographic view press E to extrude chuck it over here somewhere um, select this, let's name this our control. What, what should we call this? Possibly our control, I guess, spine bone. Control spine bone would be accurate. Select this piece over here by the neck bone part and press um, Shift S, cursor to selected, then select this, Shift S, selection to cursor. And then select your spine, control spine bone, and shift, select the torso bone, control P. And it's already, at the moment, mine's already connected, so it's actually not too bad. Numpad one. Control hip bone. TOT hip bone. Right, now just to test that everything's working, I've got a pose mode. If I select the hip bone, Move the whole object, that's correct. Move the control hip bone, it does nothing. So we want to fix that by selecting, go going back to edit mode, selecting the TOT hip bone, shift, selecting the, what's this called? Stomach bone, I guess, the TOT stomach bone. You've got the TOT hip bone and the TOT stomach bone. Shift, select the Control torso bone, press Control P, and say keep offset. And by doing that, if we go to pose mode now, and we select our control bone, over here, currently it's not doing much. Let's select this. Okay, everything gets a little bit funky here, but we still need to set up that one part that isn't connected to anything. This is already looking a lot more interesting. You can see it pulling and stretching. So all in all, that's a pretty good sign. All right, the next step. Actually, we just need to get this working properly. So to get the control hips bone, one sec, control hips bone, to be connected properly again, we have to go to edit mode and select your TRT hip bone. Shift, select, oh, TRT hip bone, shift select your control hip bone, control P, 
and keep offset. Go to pose mode, select the control bone, and now it is working again. So that's a pretty good sign. Right, so now the next thing we want to do is go to pose mode. And while you're inside of pose mode, we're going to select our spine bone controller, shift select our TRT stomach, and press control shift C and say copy rotation. And then we'll click the spine bone, shift select the chest bone, control shift C, copy rotation. Now one thing we want to do on each one of these bones, let's go to the TOT stomach bone, just to make sure it is um, working correctly. Change it from local to from wall to local, very important. And we are going to use legacy, the offset variable, and we'll do the same for both from wall to local on both ends. And we're going to change this to legacy and if we select our control bone now it's working a lot better than what it appears let me show you why it's because we haven't connected this other piece to anything so that's perfect all right so um, before we carry on one thing I quickly want to do is go into object mode let's choose material viewport select your mesh and um, what we want to do here is go to our vertex group selection, press tab to go into edit mode, deselect. So first thing we want to do is um, click our hip bone over here, click select to make sure what's selected for hip bone. Because of the new math that this is all that's connected to the hip bone, that's perfect, I'm fine with that, deselect. Click your stomach bone, only this, that's no good, so I'm going to press L over here, and I'm going to press assign and uh, deselect, select, perfect. Chest, select, see, okay, that's perfect. That's a pretty much the main stuff I needed to make sure is working. So let's go to object mode, select the armature, go to pose mode, and we're gonna select the, click on the bone, CRT spine bone, and if I press R to rotate, you can see the bend working quite naturally. Now, you're always going to run into p glitches if you pull it too far. You can see it pulling out a little bit too much, but it's still with enough control where it, it feels natural, looks organic, which is pretty cool. If we go to the side, you might see it fall apart a little bit easier with this model, and we could stiffen up the controls a little bit more if, we, if needs be, but we're also looking for that natural, that natural feel. So currently, when we like this, the top piece is kind of angled more in line with this than it is with this. So it's most accurate the closer they are together, but it still gives you that feel of almost like a natural bend. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a torso slash spine bone in our animation rig. And we're going to continue with this series of rigging a character for professional animation. And uh, once again, you can adjust the settings um, accordingly based on your specific needs. This is a basic rig. Uh, we will do more professional rigs down the road. This is just to get familiar with the concepts. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video.